Welcome to the Flix Studio Recaps. I will be discussing a thrilling romance film after we collided released in 2020. Before we begin, I kindly ask that you comment and subscribe to the video as it will help my channel grow. Thank you. While contemplating the aftermath of his split with Tessa Young, Hardin Scott encounters a homeless man, whom he dismisses after the man attempts to engage him. During her initial day as an intern at Vance Publishing, Tessa experiences an uncomfortable encounter with her co-worker Trevor Matthews. Notably impressed by her performance, Christian Vance, the owner of Vance Publishing, takes Tessa, Trevor, and his partner and secretary Kimberly to a professional event in the Seattle area. At a nightclub, Tessa and Trevor network and make an impression on a potential investor considering putting money into Vance. In a state of inebriation, Tessa calls Hardin, prompting him to search for her. He arrives at her hotel room to find Trevor partially dressed, his clothes were drying after Tessa accidentally spilled wine on them. Hardin dismisses Trevor, and Tessa and Hardin engage in a heated argument before eventually becoming intimate. The following morning, more tensions arise between Hardin and Tessa. As Tessa and Trevor depart with Vance, who informs them about securing funding from the investor, both Tessa and Hardin begin to regret their choice to end their relationship. When Tessa goes back to the apartment she used to share with Hardin to retrieve her belongings, Hardin enters the apartment along with his mother Trish, who assumes that they are still in a relationship. Tessa goes along with the assumption and finds herself enjoying the time spent with Hardin and Trish. Trish reveals to Tessa the root of Hardin's psychological struggles, witnessing her violent assault by men to whom his father Ken owed money. The next day, on her birthday, Tessa visits her mother Carol's house and encounters her ex-boyfriend Noah. Inadvertently, they reveal that Tessa's estranged father had visited in an attempt to see her. Feeling betrayed, Tessa returns to Hardin's apartment and rekindles their relationship. On Christmas Day, Hardin, Tessa, and Trish attend a festive gathering at Ken's house. Outraged by Ken's apparent willingness to absolve himself of his past wrongdoing, Hardin becomes intoxicated and physically confronts Ken. Tessa recounts the incident to Trevor, who cautions her that her relationship with Hardin is headed for trouble. Vance contacts Tessa, informing her of his company's expansion and relocation to Seattle, and offering her a job. On New Year's Eve, Tessa and Hardin attend a party at a university frat house, reconnecting with old college friends. A series of misunderstandings ensue, Tessa misconstrues Hardin's interaction with another girl as infidelity, and Hardin mistakenly learns of Vance's offer, believing Tessa plans to leave him for Trevor. A heated argument erupts between Tessa and Hardin, leading Tessa to storm off. After charging his phone, Hardin discovers apologetic messages from Tessa the next day. He calls her, but while reaching for her phone while driving, Tessa gets into a car accident that leaves her injured. Guilt-ridden by his indirect involvement in the accident, Hardin contemplates ending his relationship with Tessa. However, Trish dissuades him from doing so. He rushes to Vance's farewell party, where Vance proposes to Kimberly. Another clash occurs between Tessa and Hardin before Tessa decides to forgive him. Later, the homeless man who had previously spoken to Hardin confronts them, revealing himself as Tessa's father. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the movie. Kindly subscribe to the channel for a more romantic and thrilling movie recap.